it is Brentford 1, Manchester United 1, Manchester United dropping two points as well. Can you believe it after getting the winning goal and dying seconds to then equal to then get conceded by Brentford to for Brentford to equalize? Manchester United drop points like that sickly. But first of all, who are we to be mourning? Because we didn't deserve the lead at all. United's the lead. We don't deserve it. We didn't deserve anything throughout this whole entire game. In fact, we wasn't even lucky to even get a point to come out of this game. Although we took the lead. Manchester United, another performance where we just piss pants. How can Manchester United go from a performance against Liverpool and to see this performance? It is just the typical United. We will do this kind of shit. We are fuck boys FC. We will fuck shit up all the time, whatever it is. We do something good. Then we do something bad. That's how we are. This has been the moral and the story of Manchester United throughout the whole season, you know. And I'm tired of this, man. I'm tired of the players as well. Some of these players are just not good enough. They cannot keep the ball. They cannot keep the ball. Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Trashford. Another game, our key talisman didn't turn up, didn't show up. They weren't even here today, you know. How many times, I can't count how many times Bruno Fernandes gave the ball away numerous of times Rashford making the wrong decision not even trying at all not even trekking back just our left side being exposed heavily in the first 45 minutes and then we going to revert into that first 45 minutes because I'm so tired man we were poor uh, poor United how is Manchester United facing 14 shots on target in the first 45 minutes Everton Hog what's going on with your football we are far too open in midfield Matt Tomine Menu Bruno, there is no balance. There's no balance. We're in areas whenever these guys guys are playing. We're in a red zone, bro. We can never break even in midfield with these players, man. I'm tired of seeing the scrub Bruno Fernandez and Matt Tomine playing and offering nothing in midfield, giving the ball away. Now Matt Tomine, what what what's the point of having him? We might as well play with ten men. It's the truth, guys. Every time McShadow always hiding into shadows. Did you guys see McTominay today? No, because he was hiding in shadows, playing sideways balls and giving the ball away. I'm tired of this Bruno Fernandes how many times. And you know what? Even in the second half when it was nil-nil, I thought we were still lucky to go into that game in the second half. Nil-nil. Manchester United played trash in the second half and still was just showing me that they're just not good enough going forward. This team, this team, this players, I just can't. And you know what? Yes, we got the goal. Mason Money Mouth getting the goal in the dying seconds in the 90th minute. Thinking that we won the game, we stole everything. It was hit and run. But it wasn't. Because, of course, I equalized for Brentford from the set piece. You know what? Tony crossing it in and finishing it off. I uh, just... Just tells me how poor we are defensively, cutting it back. And we've seen the same amount of goals we've conceded so many times. Cut back and tap it in. Manchester United need to improve heavily in the next couple of days. And we have injuries. Rafael Varane, can't you stay fucking fit, man? You're my favourite defender at Manchester United and you still can't keep fit. Made out of glass. Fires made out of toothpicks. Bloody hell, man. Varane, you can't get a new contract. You know what? I Bring in a new defender. Bring in a new defender that's strong and just not injury prone. Today was just a letdown because we have Chelsea next. This was an important game for us to get three points to challenge for that top five position. But now we've made it even worse. We won't get this top five. It's over for me. I don't believe we'll make it because it just keeps one step forward, two step backs. One step forward, two step backs. How is Manchester United supposed to progress? We're just inconsistent. The amount of injuries that we keep getting. You know, we don't... Varane. Coming off at halftime, Lindelof, Iceman, breaking down, getting subbed off. This Manchester United team, are just head it's just headache. I would never like to manage this team. But I have to give it up to the manager to take this bullshit, man. Man, the ma play I mean, players today, you look at Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes, the most joke men of this team. They're just awful players. Now, they epitomise how bad Manchester United is, you know. When they're awful, they're really bad. And Manchester United even worse when they're awful. Rasmus Schoenen... I didn't see him today. I know he tried to get stuck in physically, but he wasn't there. They didn't even find him. Gnacho was poor. McTominay, McShadow. Why are you here? This is why I say we still got to sell McTominay. Man of the match, they're going to have to give it to Andre Onana. 
for RC saved, vital saves as well for today. Crucial saves. Don't give the match. I'm giving it to Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford. Those two are a pair of clowns. You know, dumb and dumber. I call them, you know. <sighs> Chuckle Brothers. I'm tired of this, guys. We've got Chelsea next. <sighs> it's it's going to be difficult. Guys, this has been your man, your match reaction from your boy Ivor and Spice. Let me know who your your man the match is in the comments and you don't give the match and your thoughts of this game. Catch me on Monday, 8 p.m. with the gang to discuss everything about this game. What a poor game. What a poor game. What a poor result. Till next time, guys. Remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready now. Your boy is out. Bond this team, man. We're not making top five. It's over. <laughs>